Yes, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, world. Once again, this is Coach Ariel and welcome to Kingdom Talk. It's one of our program partners and I believe uh, we need to support this man of God by viewing and sharing uh, the his video also, his live streaming because uh, you will learn so many things from this ambassador in the Kingdom of God. Welcome to the program, Doc. Oh, uh, th I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> I, I love Ariel and, and Pressy, Percy. I love her. I, it's Pressy, right? So that's yes. it, right? Pressy. Pressy. You, you know, yes. I'm recovering dyslexic. I don't do names very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so thank you, Doc, for your time, for sharing your life in this program, for partnering us. Thank you. And we really appreciate that from the bottom of our heart because uh, it is you who, who are sending us into the world so that we, we can bring out this kind of message not only to our place but to all nations around the globe amen yes. and, and you know and you know ariel you got you got to become a you you have to learn to give and mm -hmm. your your seed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. changes seasons wow and a wow. lot of people don't don't know the power of the seed i call it seedonomics my friend james wow. Payne calls it seedonomics there's economics Economics <laughs> is the natural laws of the earth and, and nations move through economics. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's uh, it, economics is this is the strength of a government, how what its economy. Yes. Uh, then there's a kingdom economy. You know that it, uh, this is interesting. In Luke 17, 21, Jesus said that the kingdom is, is neither here nor there, but the kingdom is where? Within you. Mm -hmm. And it dawned on me that God moved it, moved the blessing and the power of the blessing from geography to genetics. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he shifted mm -hmm. the, the power of the kingdom from places to people mm -hmm. so that Abram had to show up to a certain place mm -hmm. and the blessing was there. And the children of Israel, they had to go to Canaan, was which is the good land, mm -hmm. and they they had to go to a place, and the blessing was set up in a place. Mm -hmm. You follow me? But it shifted, and now the blessing is not in a place you show up. The blessing is any place you're at, because wow. it moved from geography to genetics. You are the blessing. You are wow. Zion. I am Zion. <laughs> I am the blessing. That's powerful, Doc. <laughs> yeah, because he told Moses, wherever I see your foot, that is where I blessed. Mm -hmm. And then in, I, in Joshua chapter one, he said to Joshua, anywhere I see your foot. And so the kingdom is neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. The kingdom shifted from geography to genetics. Wow. The kingdom yes. is in you. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and now he didn't say king. Mm -hmm. So he didn't say the king was in you. He said the kingdom was in you. So that we have to understand that the economy and the power and the government of, of, of heaven wow. has been housed Ooh. in you. Wow. So what, what people need so that they can bring out that power? Well, see, as we unlock the, you know, the, the, the three, I always call it the three Ps and I was teaching on a King television uh, in the in uh, the uh, Pakistan and all that on Zoom, I did a, a crusade with them, and uh, I was teaching that because the kingdom is in you, mm -hmm. the, the blessing is not around you. And if you might be watching, and you might be in poverty right now, you might be in lack. You might mm -hmm. you might be in a place where you look around you and you don't see a lot. You don't mm -hmm. see a lot of blessing, but the blessing is not around you. Mm -hmm. The blessing has been hidden in you. The kingdom is in you. When you confess the king, now this is very important. This is very key. Maybe somebody's watching and you just accidentally tuned on uh, mm -hmm. and, and we just got your interest. The, the, the key to this is that, is that Christ is the king. You have, to, you have to know who the king is. Mm -hmm. And so I always do the three Ps, the person of the kingdom, then there's the principles of the kingdom, and then there's the power of the kingdom. Oh. <laughs> and, and people love the power but never know the principle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and people, people who will get principle the, the world can operate in the principles of the kingdom and never know the person. Mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey is a billionaire in our country. I, do you guys know of Oprah Winfrey in, yes. in Philippines? Yes. Well, she, she gives a 10th 
of everything she has to, to people. She's constantly giving out of her increase, oh. a tithe. Uh, there are corporations in Silicon Valley. My friend, Ron Carpenter, lives in Silicon Valley. His church is there, a bishop, a bit, Apostle Ron Carpenter. And he was saying that, that Google, that's right down the street from his church, and Elon Musk, and all these billionaires, and Amazon, these headquarters are right down. And, and he has people in his church that work in these corporations, right? Mm -hmm. And listen to this. This is going to blow your mind. And, and, and he says, all of a sudden, he started getting, he got a check from Google. He, the church, the church started getting, got a check from Google, got some checks from Amazon. And so wow. he was, he, he, he was like, what's up? What, how come Google, who is supporting the church? Why is Google, why is Amazon, why are these, these Silicon Valley, Apple, and all these are giving money to his church? Because they back the givings of their people. So if you work for them, and you were, and you put down my church is a nonprofit charitable organization. They match your giving mm -hmm. to the to the place you're giving. Wow. They're operating in kingdom principles, and they're mega rich. Mm -hmm. But we got, but but then they go to we come to the church. We come to the believer that's watching me right now, and the and the statistics are mm -hmm. that only less than five percent of the christian gives oh <laughs> come on <laughs> come on dog <laughs> i percent watching me there are people now this is going to sound harsh and i don't mean to sound harsh it's just it's just truth there are people that have watched kingdom tv has watched a kingdom talk right now for months and years and have never sold one dollar into your ministry mm -hmm. never yet they always want to know why they feel encouraged but they can never break free mm -hmm. why they feel equipped but they can never have more mm -hmm. because they haven't learned the principles of yes. the kingdom mm -hmm. see the mm -hmm. power of prosperity is not in the in the level of my need mm -hmm. your need does not attract prosperity oh but your you're seed, giving your seed <laughs> Wow. It, hell no. And here's, here's the key. You might be watching and thinking, I don't have anything. There's no, listen, I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to make a decree right now. Mm -hmm. There's never a day in your life ever that you don't have a seed to sow. Mm -hmm. Cause little seeds produce much. Seed. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just start where you're at. You see, you say, you know what? I've been watching kingdom talk for months and you've never given a cent. Mm -hmm. Yet, and never done the understanding of what it takes to have the equipment, uh, the antenna, the internet, what mm -hmm. it costs to do the ministry, what it costs you reputationally. You know, what is, what is it cost? It, the price to fulfill a dream mm -hmm. is the same price for everybody. Yes. If you have a dream, it costs the same price. Everybody has to pay the same price. Mm -hmm to fulfill a dream. You know what that price is? Your life. It cost wow. you your life to fulfill a dream. You it know, Doc, I, I, I really discovered that everything that God has been giving to us, he gave us not a harvest, but a seed. And it's up to us if we will turn our seed into harvest. Exactly. And, and you know, in kingdom, in seedonomics, so in, in, the, in, the, in the natural earth, and this is good for somebody to hear this, mm -hmm. in the earth, you have to wait on the season to sow a seed. So it, I, I, what, what's a, a pineapples? If you wanted to grow pineapples, you have to know what is it the season to sow the, the seeds to plant the trees for, for pine or the plant for pineapple. If you wanted to grow watermelon or tomato, uh, these are these are natural seeds uh, mm -hmm. elements on the earth. The, the, the law of the seed of the earth mm -hmm. is that the season decides the seed, mm -hmm. the season decides when I sow. Come on. That's natural. But that's not seedonomics. That's mm -hmm. that's the earth's economy. That's mm -hmm. how the earth moves. Each seed produces its own kind. Mm -hmm. Each seed is scheduled to a season. Mm -hmm. In the kingdom of God, it's Come the opposite. On. Wow. My seed <laughs> decides my season. Woo! Come on, Doc. <laughs> yes. Woo! <laughs> my seed. 
decide decides my season. Wow, come on. So if I do not like the season I'm in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can sow a seed to change it. Ooh, this is powerful. It's powerful. This is and your seed, <laughs> your seed is anything you've been. Now here, somebody is asking, well, what is the seed? The seed is anything you've been giving by God that you can release to create anything you desire in your future. Like the way you're living, change the way you're giving. <laughs> this, your, your, seed, your seed is a weapon. Your seed, mm -hmm. most people eat their seed mm -hmm. uh, because they think when you eat your seed, that's all it ever is. It'll just, it's just a, it'll become a daily substance for a moment's relief. Yes. But if you sow your seed, it, be, it can turn into a lifetime increase wow. for everybody in your family to be freed. Yes. It's a harvest. Now, here's something else about the seed people don't know. There's, there's, there's times you just, you, you sow. I try to be a, I try to be sensitive to sowing seed. Mm -hmm. I was listening on Clubhouse. I was on a on a I was a, one of the moderators on a on a talk. What about five hundred people was on the call, and I was listening to a, a woman named Dr. Bailey, and uh, and she's talking about all these children that are, don't have homes, they don't have places to live, and I'm listening to her. And I said, you know what? I'm going to sow a $200 seed. I decide, you know what? She's been in, she's a missionary for 40 years. And I said, I'm going to sow $200. And the Holy Ghost says, no, you could sow a thousand mm -hmm. and a thousand dollars. Now that was God. That was a divine voice of God directing a, a certain amount. Mm -hmm. See, I don't like these Christians that get up and say, I don't like men of God who tell, put a mount on the seed. Well, mm -hmm. that's because you got convicted because you mm -hmm. didn't hear God or you heard God, you didn't obey. Mm -hmm. Because I can go through the Bible and show you where, where amounts mattered. I'll give you one, I'll give you an example. Solomon mm -hmm. gave a thousand bulls, a thousand bulls in an offering, a thousand. Mm -hmm. And in that, and within 24 hours of sowing that word, that number a thousand, God came into the room of Solomon, King Solomon and says, your seed, this is what he was saying, your offering got my attention. <laughs> your giving got my focus. Why? Yes. It was a level that that rare, rarely has any king. Not other, not, not, there's not another story in the Bible where anybody sowed a thousand bulls. Wow. So that thousand moved God. And then he says, I'm going to give you, it was almost, think of this in your mind. My seed is almost creating a kingly uh, connector to a harvest that I didn't know was existing. And God says to Solomon, so your seeds got my attention. What do you want? <laughs> now Solomon was, this is where Solomon showed maturity. He said, since I'm going to be your king of your people, I need wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. So he didn't ask for, because God said this to the King Solomon. He said, since you asked me for what was pleasing to me, mm -hmm. Wow. You didn't ask me for wealth, houses. You didn't ask me for a long life. You mm -hmm. didn't ask me for what the body would have asked for. But you asked me for something that is pleasing to me, wisdom and understanding. Mm -hmm. Here's what God said. I'll give you yes. what you asked me, but I'm also going to give you what you didn't ask me for. Mm -hmm. Wealth, increase, power. And so in the power of the seed, Mm -hmm. Solomon set up, became the richest man wow, on the earth. Yes, and it, 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 he sowed what he had. So your your seed is a conversation you're having with your future. Well, oh, come on, <laughs> your seed doesn't leave your life; it just leaves your hand. Wow, and it goes into my future where it has a conversation with my harvest. Mm -hmm. So I saw that. So when God said that, I, I went on her website Sunday. It was Sunday afternoon, just this Sunday. And I sold a thousand dollars into her. Say so now I, I sold monthly into you 
uh, mm -hmm. into kingdom talk, the $100 yes. a month. But I sold that one time seed because God told me to. See, now why? Mm -hmm. Because when God told you to sow a seed, that seed in your world came from his harvest. Mm -hmm. So the seed, the so God saw the harvest that has already been released in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So he took the proportion of that harvest and told you to sow a seed. Wow. <laughs> That's powerful. Now, if you if you miss that and people get mad, it doesn't make sense to me how people become so angry over the seed message and prosperity message. You go to work for every day of their life, 40, 50 hours a week mm -hmm. for increase. Then they're mad at a preacher or a man or woman of God who says you can have it. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. If you're going to take the blessings out of the Bible, if you're going to take stuff out of the Bible, mm -hmm. you, you're going to take the blessing out. You're going to take seed time and harvest out. Why don't you take hell out while you're at it too? Yes. No, because Genesis 8.22 is a law. As long as the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest wow. shall not cease. Amen. <laughs> wow, that's powerful. Now, the enemy, the enemy to your seed, is two things, doubt and conversation. Mm -hmm. So I can sow a seed and, this, and then hell will create. There's an enemy that's far more deadlier in me mm -hmm. than the enemy that's around me. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a danger far more deadlier that is going on, that can go on in your mind that's far de more deadlier than what's going on in your world. Mm -hmm. And that is doubt. Wow. That is when you begin to doubt. Mm -hmm. That's the internal dialogue you're having that talks you out of your harvest. Mm -hmm. it, is, and it happens in your head. Because what comes out of your mouth is setting up movement in your future. Mm. As a man speaketh, see, as much as he's thinking, your, your thoughts are a internal conversation trying to come out your mouth. Mm -hmm. So God said, life in death is in the power of the tongue mm -hmm. and they shall eat the, the fruit of their words. So then we have to understand then what is the, the, the meaning to this, to the, to the phrase word. What comes out of my mouth is either speak is either creating life or death. Mm -hmm. It is in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Then God said, and God tells you, just in case you ain't smart enough, choose life. Wow! Yes. <laughs> it comes just, in there and says, choose life. Just like what you have uh, said earlier, Doc, that nothing moves until something is decreed. Nothing moves until something is decreed. <laughs> yes. Nothing happens on the earth until, see, the earth cannot respond until you command it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you are the blessing. Mm -hmm. You are the, the city of Zion. God has dwelled in you, his government and his mm -hmm. economy. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to come into Christ and pick up the banner of the lion of the tribe of Judah and we were to have kingly reaction mm -hmm. to everything in our world. Wow. But we have human reactions and never we, we don't ever shift into having a kingly reaction to a crime. The church should have kingly answers to worldly problems. Ooh. Come on, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talk about the problem. Jesus said, if you see this mountain and do not doubt, but speak to it. He didn't say speak about it. Mm -hmm. He said, if you'll talk to the mountain and tell it what, and let me, let me paraphrase so you can get the meaning of it. Tell it the mountain, what you desire it to do. Mm -hmm. And if you decree it, it moves. <laughs> Nothing wow. moves until it is decreed. Wow. Nothing. Caesar decreed Luke chapter two, verse one, Caesar decrees 
and says everybody has to go to their hometown and fill out a census of where they're from and pay their taxes. Mm -hmm. And Mary and, and Joseph are, she's nine, nine months pregnant, but now they have to pack up and, and go to Bethlehem. Why? Because somebody in authority made a decreement. Wow. And the decree of Caesar moved the seed of <laughs> Jesus to fulfill yes, the prophecies yes, of the Old Testament. Yes, yes. Wow. Nothing moves until something's decreed. See, my mouth is the, is the force of seed. Wow. So there's, there's seed in my hand and there's seed in my mouth. Jesus said, if you don't understand the parable of the sower, no other parable will make sense to you in the kingdom. Oh. And he said, the sower went out to sow. And he starts talking about soil. You remember that, Ariel? Yes. That passage. Yes. And he starts tell, describing you the receiver, mm -hmm. the soil, stony ground, mm -hmm. the thorny ground, right? But the whole key was that when Peter asked him, tell us the meaning to the parable. He said, the, the, the seed is the word of God. So listen now. So he says the seed is word. So here's what he said. The word is a seed. Mm -hmm. So he proves that in John chapter one, verse one, it says in the beginning was the word. John chapter one, verse one, in the beginning was the word and the word was God and mm -hmm. the word was with God mm -hmm. and God was the word. You know what that word is? Seed. So in the beginning was the seed. And the seed was with God and the seed is God. And then he said, and goes, now take just John chapter one, verse one, go all the way to Genesis chapter three. He says, Satan, I'm going to put enmity between me, you and the woman and her seed. <laughs> wow. And your seed will go to battle. Ooh. And he <laughs> said, and you're, 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 you will bruise the heel, but the seed of this woman will crush your head yeah. now wait a minute the woman has no seed the woman is the is the egg yes so he's talking about the word there will be a word coming out of this woman <laughs> and that word will crush you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because and then he put that word in my mind. David said in Psalm 119, verse 11, thy word have I hid in my heart, yes. my mind, yes. mm -hmm. that I might not sin again. That word sin is that I might not make a decision that displeases God. Mm -hmm. That word, that word, you know what he said? The seed in me, I hid a seed in me, the word of God. Nothing moves until you decree it. Wow. Nothing. So if, if you don't like the world you're living, change the seed of your soul. <laughs> yes. And the That's seed right. you're saying. Write this down real quick. I don't know how long we got, Arrow. Write this down real quick. Isaiah chapter six says, I saw, this is what it said. Isaiah said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Just that, mm -hmm. That's all I need you to know. I saw and then you go down in that verse and go read it for yourself in Isaiah chapter six. It says that when he saw God, he, he also saw who he was. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, watch, he said, Lord, I'm, I'm unclean. I'm undone. Mm -hmm. I have, he said, I have wicked lips. He didn't mm -hmm. say, he didn't say I do wicked things. He mm -hmm. said, my mouth has, has I'm caused clean. judgment on me, my lips. And the Bible said an angel came from the altar of God with a coal, and he didn't change the walk of the prophet. He changed his mouth. Ooh. He touched his tongue mm -hmm. with the seed of God's word. Wow. So write this down. The difference in people is what they see, what they say, what they serve, and what they sow. Mm -hmm. What they see, say, serve, and so. So my say, what I see is deciding what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So if I keep seeing the problem, I keep saying the problem. The problem. 
if I see, if I see beyond the problem, the, the solution, I start to say, so whatever I'm saying, I am now serving. I'm a servant to the conversation I had yesterday. Mm -hmm. And what I'm serving decides what I sow. So <laughs> when you, when you decree, you put things in motion, whatever is playing in your mind, what plays in your mind will materialize in time. Wow. Thoughts become things. Why? Because you cannot help but to start talking about mm -hmm. what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. So as a man think it, so shall he be. Yes. Maybe so that is the reason why the Bible says we speak because we believe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> God. See, so what's coming out of my mouth? So I must be very careful because what's coming out of my mouth is far deadlier, see. Mm -hmm. than what's coming around me. So what do I say to my children? What do I speak in anger? Mm -hmm. What do I say in worry? What am I saying in stress? What, do, what comes out of my mouth? It, it would come out during this pandemic. Did you trade, did you change it into a praise demic or did you mm -hmm. stay postured in a pandemic? See, <laughs> because whatever's coming out of your mouth, this is why praise is a, is a catalyst of mm -hmm. spiritual warfare that's at a magnitude that hell cannot defend. Mm -hmm. Hell can stop your prayers. Hell can hinder your movement because Paul said, because of Satan, I could, I, he, I, I could not come to you. I was hindered, yes. so I couldn't come. But there's one force and weapon that, that, that God immediately moves toward, and that is praise. God inhabits the praises of his people. Yes, so sounds... when I don't know what to say, I must know how to praise. <laughs> Even the centurion tells Jesus, he says, he says in uh, Matthew 8, he says, if you'll send the word, I'm a man. And then he says, I'm a man under authority. Also, I say to this one, go, he goes. I say to this one, come, he comes. Mm -hmm. I say this one, do, he does. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Nothing happens, he said, until I speak. <laughs> yes, that's right. See? And then he says, no different for you, Jesus. You don't have to go to my house. He said, what? No, 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 no. Send the word. Just speak the word. And here's what he realized. If you decree it now, something will move in my next. Now. <laughs> so when I decree something in my life right now, when I decree it, it's making movement in some other place yes. in my next. So yes. I decree right now, everybody on Kingdom Talk, I decree and declare yes. Yes. victory, prosperity, increase. Yes. I decree health. I decree wealth. I decree love. I decree yes. forgiveness. And this stuff is moving right now yes, because we decree the thing. Nothing moves until it is decreed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Doc, for your life. You are truly loaded. <laughs> you, you, you always uh, amaze me, the word that you are sharing in this program, Kingdom oh, Talk. Until next time, and we love you, Doc. Love you guys. Bye for now.